Environmental justice initiatives are a key concern here in the Bronx, so much so that U.S. representatives and Fordham University are teaming together here at the Mary Mitchell Family Center to address the issue. It's a win for environmental protection, it's a win for public health, and finally the Bronx is receiving its fair share of federal funding. Members of Fordham University and Congress are gathered together for an exciting announcement. Millions of dollars of federal funding are now secured for the college's environmental justice projects and access to resources assisting their cause. Fordham representatives alongside U.S. Representative Richie Torres hosted the event, expressing gratitude to the Environmental Protection Agency and already anticipating the next steps now that funds are secure. So the fact that a Bronx-based institution like Fordham University has received $50 million is nothing short of historic, and those dollars will go into grassroots organizations that are on the front lines of fighting climate change and reducing air pollution and reducing carbon emissions and reducing asthma rates. The $50 million federal grant is possible through the Inflation Reduction Act as an effort from the Biden administration to curb inflation by a number of approaches, one of which includes investing millions of dollars into domestic energy production and clean energy efficiency. As one of 11 national grantmaker selectees, Fordham University plans to partner with local community-based organizations dedicated to assisting in environmental safety and protection operations, including cleaning New York City parks, testing public schools for air pollution levels, and keeping the Bronx River healthy and thriving. We are moving quickly. We will be opening applications for grants to community organizations and other groups that are doing environmental justice work starting early spring. We plan to have a launch event and open the applications formally in February. Um, and then we will be able to offer town halls, info sessions, one-on-one -on -one coaching, hotlines so that we can make those first awards, get them into the hands of the organizations that need them by summer 2024. The priority is giving critical areas, such as the Bronx, proper environmental justice, which the EPA defines as the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people indiscriminately regarding environmental development, laws, regulations, and policies. Bronxites are historically daily impacted by respiratory illnesses because of the built environment, the amount of trucks, the density of people, all of those things put a strain on our respiratory system. The grant demonstrates not only how higher education can be a partner in environmental justice and community development, but also that this is a nationally replicable model in the making. Reporting from BronxNet, I'm Chris Kimella.